So one thing people have asked me time and time again is how did I get started actually making videos on YouTube? Because I've been doing this for over 12 years. And while making videos for a living has kind of been a little normalized now, definitely 12 years ago, it was not mainstream. So if you're wondering on how just a normal classroom teacher got started on YouTube, well, in this video, I want to kind of take you back to 2009 and kind of explain a little bit of the origin of how a camera got in my hand and I started and I, it's still crazy and I started a YouTube channel. So back in 2009, I was actually attending a real estate seminar because I use real estate to help supplement my income as a teacher. I actually am still a real estate agent. I have showings later today. So I love real estate. Now it's something I got into when I was in college, but again, I went to college to become a teacher. So I really had my passion for education, but real estate was something new that I could do in addition to being a teacher. So I was at this real estate conference and one of the speakers was talking about how he grew his business. And one of the things that was really important for him was owning his time and owning the kind of structures and systems for him to be able to expand. And one of the things that he talked about was how he used videos to explain everything that he was doing. And then once he would go through the process of explaining exactly how he did his job step by step, he would go ahead and hire somebody for that role. And then that person would basically watch the videos to get an idea of exactly what to do. Now, back in 2009, this was kind of a new way of thinking. Now it's kind of normalized. We see this all over. But immediately at that point, I had this affinity moment, these that this is exactly what I need to do in my own classroom. I kind of forgot about real estate or my goals and aspirations of what I was trying to do. I got hyper-focused in education. It definitely reignited some passion to me of like what was possible in the educational sphere. Because again, there was not many people that were doing this online. So I immediately went back to my hotel room and started looking on YouTube, which was familiar at that point to see who was making educational videos. And three names that stuck out to me that you might be familiar with was Khan Academy, Yay Math, and Patrick JMT. Now these are kind of like the three OG, and now there's definitely some other YouTubers, but these were definitely the three OGs that really took over the space in the early years. And I wanted to be a just like them. I started to envision the future of education, of me being able to record mathematical videos, students that missed class or needed more examples or needed to study for the upcoming test could go back and watch those videos at any time. My brain was racing and I could not wait to go ahead and get started making mathematical content. This was during the summer and school was not in session. I didn't even have a camera. I I think my phone had a camera, but it was probably so low quality, we wouldn't have been watching videos on it anyways. Now it's also important to note that this whole idea of getting paid on YouTube or having people all around the world watching my videos was not even in the discussion yet. I think maybe the AdSense program had just started, but for most people, the idea of just creating videos was to create videos. And that's one big distinction that I want people to understand about my YouTube journey and what has probably kept me making videos is that I truly enjoy the process of creating a video and teaching online. I didn't get started for earning fame or AdSense revenue. It was truly to help my own students inside of the classroom. And it's definitely involved as the platform and my videos have grown. So after the conference, I went home and immediately bought a flip camera. Go ahead and take a look at this beauty. And I started to think about what all the different types of videos I could do. And I definitely drew my first inspiration from the Yay Math YouTube channel because in my opinion, it was the coolest thing. You literally felt like you were inside of his classroom as he would record during the class. I thought, hey, I could definitely do that, but I could not match his personality. And I had to make videos that were exactly my own. Patrick JMT Tutoring and Khan Academy was also going into some math that I was currently not teaching at the moment, which was more advanced than what I was currently covering in my own classes. So I thought about the only way that I was gonna make myself known, but I couldn't match his enthusiasm. And then I noticed that Patrick JMT and Khan Academy had thousands of YouTube videos. And I couldn't even imagine making thousands of YouTube videos, but I realized the only way that I'm actually gonna get traction on an online platform is to make content and make a lot of content. So when class started in August of 2010, I started recording everything. I put a camera in the middle of my classroom any single time I had a problem to teach or any single time a student asked me to solve a problem from the homework, I would hit record and I would record the problem. Now, if you look back on any of those older videos, I didn't have a microphone, I didn't have any lighting. You can literally see sometimes as the camera is shaking from me hitting record and then to watching me walk in the middle of class and hit the button to end record. And then the cool thing was after school, I would literally just record the videos as file name because I didn't really know any better. I didn't really have that big of a following, but I would upload anywhere from 20 to 40 videos every single day. Now, obviously, as you know, uploading videos does take time. You have to take the file, transfer it, and then upload it, get it a title and a description. Well, when you're uploading 20 to 40 videos every single day as being a teacher, I didn't have the time for this. So I would literally just upload the file names, no thumbnail, no description, no title, just upload raw files. That's how back in the day and wild origins of YouTube started. Now, if you go back, I eventually added some thumbnails to those videos and put in a title and a description, but getting started was anything but polished. And I hope you 
take a lot from this because when we watch creators on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, we a lot of times compare ourselves to what they are doing and we don't look at the journey that they have taken or how they started. So if you're ever feeling inferior with the way that you look, the way that you talk, the way that you edit your videos, just get started. We all have a fear of failing. The best thing has come from me making YouTube videos is this understanding the best thing you can do is not overanalyze everything. Get started and move forward. Then you can go ahead and take a look back and analyze. But no matter what you want to do in your life, where you're scared, shoulders back, chin up, and lean forward. You got this. If you want to learn more about how I got started becoming a teacher or what my life was like in as a struggling math student, go ahead and check out the videos and playlists I have down below, or you can check out another video I have for you here. Cheers.